Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Astrox. Okay, so grab your drinks and your tasty treats and let's go and explore this game. Merchant Barge, let's fly to you buddy. So this is something new that you, I, I didn't realize you could do is you could fly up to these guys and actually communicate. Uh, sometimes, but... Oh yeah, there's a there you go, com link. I bet you didn't um, by mixing up. Oh here, so I bet you didn't know that you can increase speed in which your mining laser fire by mixing up some aluminum shard with uh, molecular water. See, so yeah, that's cool. Cool. So so there's a new recipe. So hopefully that's in our recipes now. Cool, so we get to experiment with that. So what I'm going to do, so the plan is, is we cleared out this sector, right? So because of that, we are going to go do some mining here. We're going to mine up some adamine. I got all this equipped. I got the recharger and I think one cargo pod. So we'll fill this up relatively quickly. And the plan was to fly over here and to do some mining. So... I will meet you over at the minefield there, just to kind of give you a little taste of what it it feels like. Okay, we are approaching this asteroid here. See the music is just ah, uh, it's just amazing. So let's see here. So yeah, and this is what we do: is just sit here. And we're gonna do mining. <laughs> we're gonna mine up some of these asteroids here. We fill up on the resources, and then we'll fly back to the station. We'll, we'll basically harvest out this entire sector. Once we're done, then we'll go and fly to the next one. We'll outfit our ship for combat and then go into the next one. So yeah, so I will meet you at the end of the harvesting of this asteroid field. See, this is what I talked about before. You'll notice there's these ones with the recons. Kill 15, kill 19. So these will always be around and they're always cumulative. So we'll go like kill See, we'll do that. Now I have six left, so that's pretty cool. So these things accumulate kills, and we'll get more kills in the next sector, but that's kind of cool for that. Now, is there any mine jobs? Because we just did some mining, and I don't see anything. You know, we don't have any of these resources yet. Maybe at some point. <laughs> and, yeah, so that's it. So that's kind of what I just want to show. I just want to show you how I claim those. So once you have enough, you just claim them, and then you get a bunch of cash. A huge in injection that'll be you good for the next system and our next ship so yeah cool so yeah I am back and look I noticed this aluminum shard thing well if you remember with the refinery right Adam Adamite if you look down here at the bottom left it'll say refine 22 to 25 percent salt crystal aluminum shard well, we need 400 whatever aluminum shards, so let's let's hit. Ooh, I want to hit refine, but I don't think we'll have enough. I don't think we have enough because we need more of this kind of stuff. We almost need a full load. What is our loadout? If I go garage here, no, I do have two cargo storage. Okay, no, I just don't have enough. Ah oh, well, I'll worry about those jobs another time. I thought maybe we could do this, but let's try it anyways. Refine uh, 111 units, 104. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. And so we would need more aluminum shards. So if we sell those, so I guess we would have to go and mine some more. But but is it even like are we even possible to get that 400 within the time frame? Let's take a look at the time frame. When does that expire? 50 minutes. Let's try it for this one. It's, it's not worth it, but it'll be interesting. We'll have to go mine some more stuff. Now there is some storage. So what is this? Let's do this. Space free 1000. Ship space free. Oh. So now can we... How do we move cargo to, to and fro? Can I... Uh, left click, right click. No, how about is there a way of transferring lease fee 500? No cargo is currently being stored in this hangar bay. 
but how do I store cargo into the hangar bay? Maybe we have to exit out and go back in. So what I will do is I'll grab another load of, of materials of adamamite or whatever it's called. And yeah, if I had something to talk about, I would probably talk about something while we're, we're flying. But I really don't. <laughs> I just like this game just to just sit here and fly and watch. You just like this because, you know, to me, this is a good part of the game. Is this aspect? It's just relaxing. I can sit here, I can have a drink, right? You know, you can have some tasty treats, and you can do that. You, know, for those of you that smoke, you could have a cigarette. You know, light one up and just you kind of enjoy the music. You know, I kind of hope that you know the developer adds more music, but or or somehow inject their own music. Probably turn off the music in the game and use the Steam music. There's probably a possibility for that. Yes, I'm having a drink because why not? This is the opportunity, right? You know, this is there's kind of a couple paces to this game, right? There's like a fast pace with the with the killing, and then there's the the slow pace after the harvesting because you can kind of take your time. But that all depends on the settings that you set the the universe to. Right now we have it set to kind of like really easy settings. But the next time we play this game through, I think we're going to do some harder settings. We're going to do a larger universe, probably. You probably double the number of systems to probably 20, right? And uh, you maybe mix up the connections. Maybe that'd be kind of interesting instead of having like a linear. But I just figured we should try this out and see what it's like, and you'll give the game a good go. And you know, I'm just going to play this with you folks, and that's just how it's going to be. So. Yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy all the footage. I right, hopefully I'll do a good job with it. But I've seen other YouTubers do footage just like this, and, and they have a ton of subscribers. And you know, so I'm gonna just do the same and be lazy and and no big deal. So that one's been toasted. Oh, there's big ones up here. Let's do let's do the biggest one first. So that way if we fill up, and then we'll figure out that cargo because I want to move those shards into the cargo. Because then we could actually effectively do that. So that would be interesting. And then maybe we can get a little bit extra credits. It's probably not even worth it. It's probably just worth it to sell this stuff. <laughs> but I just figured, hey, why not try and complete the job, right? There must be some achievement for that in the game, most likely. So yeah, so I will meet you back at the base when we can kind of complete that job or when we're going to retrofit to move on. So yeah, so I'll see you then. Yeah. See, as I feared, the aluminum shards, we're not going to be able to do it. So I'm just going to sell them off. And, yeah, we're not even going to bother with that. So let's just go sell. And I'm just going to harvest the rest of that asteroid field. And once we're done with with that, then I'll be back. And we'll retrofit the ship for combat. So I'll see you then. Uh, this is cool. Sometimes you'll find these anomalous sprites. And here, if you're speed freak, right? if you're speed freak like me, you may find this useful. You can upgrade your afterburner modules with industrial parts mixed with neutron pods. That's interesting. So there you go. So I think they teach you something. Now I'm not sure if that's permanent or if it shows up in the crafting station. So we'll check that out. We talked with that guy. If I have to remember that, that's gonna suck. Then you're gonna have to write down everything, and that's kind of. I don't know, if you're watching this developer, if you ever do watch this, please, please, <laughs> you make it where it's automatic in the game. Because, I don't know, I find it silly to write stuff down. It's just, it's just me. You know, unless I guess if people want the game harder, then it makes sense, but, I don't know. If this is, you meant to be a relaxing game, uh, just to have fun, you wipe pirates out, and do stuff like that, mine, then yeah, then it, you know it works right so yeah so let's see here okay here we are in the station let's go into a laboratory oh look at that so see so afterburner industrial parts and neutron pods and this one would be aluminum shard and molecular water so in some places you can buy that so here you can buy water but there's no molecular um, what was it molecular water so we can get the aluminum shards by refining so it's not a big deal but the molecular water we can't get here yet 
So as soon as we can, we'll be able to do this. And we're going to experiment with this mining laser stuff. You might as well, all right, because we have these ones. And then you know, I want to experience or experiment with this as well once we see the neutron pods, eh, just to see, all right? Um, I'll do that on camera. I didn't really do that with my single player, so there's a price modifier in the corner here. I think that's just so that way you get better pricing for when you refine and stuff. So if you just go sell, boom, so you 4,000 more. And I've been kind of you keeping the asteroids alive as well. It's kind of a little strategy. So if we zoom out, so so if you notice here, 80 out of 359, 59, I've been kind of depleting them, but I haven't been killing them off yet. So I'm kind of experimenting. I want to see, what's that? There's another anonymous sprite. I thought that was the one that we talked with already. Let's click on that one just to see if we can make it to him. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, but and up here, these ones have slowly regenerated. Not really fast enough, though. So I'm just going to kind of harvest them up and actually destroy them. But, you know, you can probably get a few extra thousand out of that, out of that tactic. Oh, here we are. We're in... Oh, he decided to go away. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, spirit. <laughs> or whatever it is. Oh, well. That's kind of interesting, too. I find that happens, too. I'm not sure if it's buggy or if it's the same one that we spoke with, but... It's probably the same one we spoke with and just you know it just stays there but I thought the ships kind of respawn themselves when you enter and exit stations it's what seems to happen but yeah but anyways I'm gonna harvest these up <laughs> and honestly now I'll be back when we have to retrofit for combat so here we are back I figured out how to do you load the stuff into the hangar if you go unload, so if you go into your ship you here, and then you, this button will show up. If you go unload, this is how you can do it. Confirm, bang, it's moved over to the station hangar. Then here with your different ships, you can have up to three ships, I think, parked here. And you can just go load, and however much you want to load, bang, and that's what you have. So that's what that's for. And I think we can kind of keep increasing this, but yeah, that's kind of cool. I guess it's neat, so you can have extra space for whatever reason. So let's do some university. So I have skill points. Let's increase this by one. We have some cash. Let's increase that by one. I almost want to do this one as well because this is always useful. But I want cash in the, for the next system. So yeah, so let's just sell these things here. And let's go to the garage. Let's retrofit our ship for... Combatio, so we need the light armor, we need light shields, then we need to replace all of these with the small lasers and a missile launcher. Perfect, okay, and now we're retrofitted for combat. We should be good for combat. Let's, let's close this up, let's undock, and now here we go. We're going to go into the next system. Oh, nice! guess we earned lots of credits so that's cool beans so let's see here zoom out oh yeah I guess we're gonna fly slow <laughs> uh, let's see here so let's go over to the portal I yeah yeah you know what folks I'll meet you over at the portal okay so here we are we are approaching the warp gates this would be interesting so the button is gonna come up for it so that's what we'll see once it shows up we'll click on it but I think we're going to turn this on in the future. I just wanted to show you what it looked like when you warped into another system. Ooh, snap. See, you can just click on warp ship. And here we go. Here we go. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, uh, list pirates. Let's kill the ones up close. There we go. Okay, perfect. So they both had credits, so pirate raiders detected, stinger and recon, where are they? They are over around the next portal, so yeah, looks like there's another place here. Looks like there's new resources as well. There's Gradion, Adamite, that's cool. So let's go over and kill these things, the stinger and the recon. Why not, right? 
you know, as long as we don't kill too many of these things, I think yeah, they should all spawn in. Ah, you know what? Let's let them spawn in. Let's just fly straight to the warehouse. Let's start some mining operations. That was actually easier than I thought. Than I thought. Man, so crazy. So now it looks like we have like there's atomite, there's gradion, which is a new kind of rock, I think. Atomite, gradion. So it kind of looks different. The gradion kind of has this grayish look. The atomite still kind of like that polished look. So it looks like a mix of both. Gradion. What's that? Atomite. Yeah, okay, so nothing rare, nothing special. Even though they're supposed to spawn. <laughs> and we got a different background in this. A background of a big planet, which is kind of unusual, but... Uh, it kind of works. But not with the star. That's kind of funny. Tiny star for this you know, huge planet? Nah. Okay, we're approaching the... Mez Warehouse or whatever it's called. It's kind of a neat looking structure. It looks a little bit different. And let's see. Snap. Okay. Kind of a neat little interior. They always have a little a little something something. So let's go. We don't have any of that stuff. Garage. So I, I guess we can unload ourselves. Maybe. Yeah, whatever. Let's do mining operations. We're not really going to fight anyways. So, we're going to kind of mine up some of those resources and then go from there. But I think we'll do that. I'm going to check the footage here and then we'll we'll see from there. Uh, let's just kind of look through this other stuff before I do that though. So, if we go market. Looks like we got some new pieces. Oh, yeah, shipyard. So, yes, there's new vehicles here. Something with four, five, and one. I think we're going to buy the frigate because that's the best. Yeah, so everything else. If you look at the frigate, cargo 80, energy 120, speed is only 3, but uh, the the four static s slots, that's okay. And there's an extra slot we can put for like a weapon in there in the, with the mining beams. That's kind of cool. This one has more energy than the, the Corvettes. And the speed's the same. Max shield strength. So this would be better for combat. You orientated stuff and this would be better for mining and you can only have one drone but that's okay you know what we're gonna buy this ship we're gonna buy it right away we're gonna go so I'm gonna go garage we're gonna unload everything so that way we have access to it and then we're gonna go shipyard let's let's buy this new ship infiltrator trade in value you go buy a ship and see this is where you can have more than one ship so I'm not sure if I want to sell that ship or keep it so we're gonna keep it and let's lease 1,000 units of space so that way we have cargo and okay cool so the laboratory still has the stuff so let's see what kind of items are in the market here oh molecular water ooh ooh and there's even regular water so we also need what else do we need industrial parts afterburner aluminum shard and molecular water so let's see here let's actually try this stuff so molecular water i don't know do we just need one and aluminum shard be very easy to get we'll just get some adamamite or whatever it's called Let's retrofit our ship a bit here. If we go garage, oh nice, look at all these slots. Look at all these slots. So we can, let's see if there's any upgrades to our ship. Extended tank, fuel pod, extended tank. So that's cool. And then we have, oh, heavy capacitor. Let's buy that since we have the cash. We're not going to sell this light energy quite yet. Nice, look at this. There's an engine mod for 10,000. That's cool. So it makes it... Uh, engine control can be this module would allow for an increased max engine output by 10%. So that's definitely something we want for our mod slot. So we're going to have to definitely mine. We've got a better, a better capacitor. Okay, and... But there's no extra cargo. Huh. 
I don't see any cargo spots. We got a better engine here that we could probably purchase. We, we probably should purchase. So that I think uses up four slots already. So if we go, so we need the capacitor, piercer. Oh, I didn't know we had a pacer, or or an engine or anything. I guess I forgot. Oh yeah, okay. This is a better version. So let's definitely do that. And then we have the expander here, but the distance we need to go. Well, let's see. Let's see how the fuel will last. Let's load up on these bad boys. Let's, we can actually put one small laser on there for defense. And we have a spot for a mod slot. So that's cool. That's cool. Do we need to refuel? No, we don't. Okay, cool. Let's check the ship out briefly. Here we go. That's awesome. Bingo, bango. Here we go, folks. Here's our new ship. Strange looking ship. Which way is the front? Let's click on an asteroid. Yeah, there's some guys up there. Awesome. So let's some Gradion. Let's click on that one. Yeah, okay. So that's the back. Okay. So that's the front with these little cargo pod thingies. Let's load up these bad boys. Speed of 10. It is burning up a lot of fuel. So I might have to put kind of like a, a fuel tank. You know, one less cargo pod and put a fuel tank on there because I definitely want the speed. The speed advantage of traveling is, you know, like look how fast that was to go all the way across the map basically. And it's so much more tolerable. Once you hit speed 10, then, you know, the game is a lot better, I find. But look at that. That's a lot of fuel to burn just to get over here. Man, we're going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to see about about this. I wonder if you can fly it at a slower pace instead of a faster pace. And we can, so what we can do is we can maybe toggle the autopilot. Let's actually untoggle the autopilot. This is where we can use the WASD keys and you can actually direct your ship yourself and we can actually fly towards that rock there and you can actually click here and it will control it yourself. Oh, and then what did I click on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Autopilot. There we go. I guess it's a little bit tricky, but yeah, we're gonna run out of fuel. But it seems to want to burn at a higher fuel rate. So and I think once you burn out the fuel, you start using the energy instead. So it's not too bad, I think. And I think you slow down as well. So we'll just harvest this this this, this atomite and turn it into the aluminum shards. So that way we can experiment and then we'll call it an episode there. I think that's what we're going to do. And we're going to fly back at a slower pace. So I'll meet you back at the station. Okay, here we are back at the station and then we'll finish it off here. So what we did is we need to refine this into some crystals, I think. So that way we have the aluminum shards. And then we need to go in the, the laboratory. Let's kind of take a look at our at one of these things. So if we go hangar, no, sorry, laboratory. Okay, and if we go molecular water, aluminum shard, and the modules, then we need the basic mining laser. Because it doesn't matter which one. Uh, mining laser. Oh, we've got 2% reduction in cycle rate. That's cool. So we need uh, 10 molecular water. So there we go. So let's see. Let's get 39 molecular water. So if we go trade goods, where's molecular water? Go buy. And 39. Can I not? Ah, uh, 28.6. So we'll have to refine the, or we'll have to sell the gradient. Right? We can actually get rid of the salt crystals as well. Now we can buy the molecular water. 
Let's go back into the laboratory. Let's put a mining laser and that and that. And there we go. So, oh, it costs money. Oh, there's multiple levels of research. Well, that's kind of interesting. So, do we need to basically switch out each of these miners? Yeah, B2. Oh, okay. So, will, will that be worth it to do this? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. And we'll find out in the next episode, basically, if it's successful. So, let's see here. So, I'm going to go in here. Oh, and I'm out of money. Okay, that's so cool. This is so cool. So this is where we need the components for the crafting. And you can level this up, make it higher levels. That is really cool. Really cool. So now if you go into our garage. Oh yeah, look at that. So now it uses 0 0.49 rate of fire. 0 0.7. Doesn't look like a big increase, eh? Uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. I'm just comparing it. Oh no wait, they're all the same. Uh, here we go. Seven. Oh, so the rate of fire is like down it's had. That's funny. Okay, so it's not really that big of a deal. Huh. Okay, so let's equip that one. Okay, and then... So yeah, we need a bigger fuel tank. So, and I should have had cash for that. Well, we can sell this stuff. 623, how much do we need? Dang it, I should have bought it instead of spending it on the research. Anyways, folks, I'm going to go do some mining, and so I'm going to use what I have. Let's see here, I'm going to use a smaller engine, maybe that will burn less. I'm going to fill up on some stuff, and so I'll be back. And so I will see you all in the next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this edition of Astrox. In the next episode, what we'll do is we're going to take out these pirates and then move on to the next sector. So yeah, so thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. So yeah, so I kept playing after the episode and I was blowing up some the pirates, and look at this, rare Blackbird's DX was uncovered. This engine has plenty of thrust for even large mining vessels with a, me a medium fuel consumption rate. You'll have plenty of time to fill your cargo hull. So that is cool. So this is, we'll have to definitely look into this. Very interesting. Special. Huh. And, oh, level 3 achieved, so we get one extra skill point. That's awesome. So when you kill stuff, you get levels. So let's see. So yeah, I was just going around killing these bad boys like this. Let's go after the stinger there. Um, I'm not taking much damage. I bought some more missiles, so I, maybe I could handle that. And I retrofitted myself for combat, basically. Oh, see, raiders keep spawning in, so it doesn't matter. They're like a resource. I'm just kind of building up my kill count, so that way, then for the next episode, you know, you can see some cool stuff, or you know, like some jobs handing in and stuff like that. So it's, it kind of speeds up the gameplay a bit, right? Bang, we got that one, and how about the stinger? Bang, that's it. That's Quasar Ore, credits, perfect. We'll leave these guys alone here, so that way there's always a pair. And on my way back, I'll take out these guys. You can also click and drag to select, and then you have them in here. And you can click on the target in here. That's kind of how I've been doing combat as well. And so... Yeah, this thruster I'm using is a lot better. I'm using the smaller one. It's not burning as much, so we can travel around at a decent pace and still have relatively good fuel. And if we run out, well, then we'll use the energy, so we'll be okay with that. It's no big deal. And let's see here. Let's let's take these guys out, and then yeah, and then that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching, folks. <laughs> oh man. Take the stinger out and recon. Bang! Snap! Credits. Oh, molecular water. Credits. Cool. That's pretty cool.